In the remake of The Wizard of Oz, what character would you play? Well, I thought about this a little bit. Uh, I think I would probably be the Tin Man. Or we're looking for trouble. Look out. Don't run into this guy. He might hit you. We're looking for victims. No adjusters running around here. Everybody, all, the, all the adjusters are actually interviewing with people right now. But I think I spotted some back here just like drinking coffee. That's Chef Scott over there. Chef Scott. Chef's hey, there's Dave. Dave. There's Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Oh, wait a minute. We have a victim. The guy should have made eye contact. He actually came over here when I waved at him. Can you believe this? Hey, I'm James with Adjuster TV, and you are? Scott Jensen. So uh, why did you come to NACA? Uh, a great opportunity to meet a lot of different IA firms and you know, touch base, see what's all out there. Have you done any interviews yet this yeah, week? I think I've got like eight done at this point. How do you feel NACA contributes to the claims industry as a whole? Oh, outstanding, right? So with NACA, I mean, you get all these folks together and, you know, sort out who's doing what, who's good at what, and it's a great opportunity for guys like me to you know, get my foot in the door. So uh, other than just interviewing with firms, what's some of the bit, biggest benefits of being at uh, NACA this week? Uh, you know, just learning to network a little bit with some of the folks that, you know, I met some great people yesterday, sat down, collaborated, gave me some insight into, you know, what to expect and who to talk to. Why did you, uh, why did you attend NACA this year? Well, I heard it was a great way to uh, network with uh, fellow adjusters and also firms. Yeah. How did you hear about NACA? Uh, through another adjuster, then I researched it online. How do you feel that uh, NACA contributes to the uh, claims industry and independent adjusters as a whole? I think it contributes greatly because it's a lot of information that we don't get individually, but um, coming together at this event gives us openings to other avenues, assistance, programs, things of that nature. And so what's the biggest thing you've learned so far? The biggest thing I've learned is that I was actually a narrow vision with my adjusting possibilities. And the interviews and networking with the companies let me um, made me aware of other great possibilities in the adjusting field. So, other than interviewing with uh, the IE firms, mm -hmm. what are some of the benefits of coming to this convention? Finding out about training that I wasn't familiar with, like the Hague certification. There is one now for desk adjusters, which is great because that's something I was looking for when I originally got into adjusting. Yeah, Adjuster TV. Uh, we have a great uh, partnership with 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 uh, Adjuster TV. And we're very happy to uh, promote the discount. I believe Adjuster TV is the discount code, and you save 10% uh, 10 10 off the retail price. Definitely take advantage of that. Jeff McDowell, Birmingham, Alabama. How long have you been an adjuster? Since October of last year. You're working yet? I've had one deployment, and uh, thanks to your advice, actually. Not my advice. Actually, yeah. Um, it was right after the big storms uh, in December in Kentucky. So uh, the advice was shave your head and go get all the work you'll ever need. Yes, and it worked. Well, I think it's a good forum to bring everyone together. And like I said, you know, have that eyeball to eyeball, face to face uh, networking time where people can uh, make that connection. And then when you call and talk to someone later trying to get a deployment, then maybe they'll remember you if you make, do something memorable to make, to make that connection and they'll remember who you are when you call them. How many interviews have you had so far? Seven or eight. How many more? Nine or ten that I've got scheduled. And what I hear, the theme I'm hearing from a lot of these these firms is the skill sets are important, but the most important skill set they look for is that customer service, that personability, because you're representing them and their client to the insured, and they want to make sure that somebody's not going to misrepresent them or represent them badly. Robert Moran of Alacrity. Oh, hey, excuse me. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, look, it's Dave. It's Dave. It's Dave. It's Dave. Hey, Dave. Hi, I'm James with Adjuster TV, and I'm standing here with... Tanya Gilly, South Carolina. There we go, Tanya. <laughs> How long have you been an adjuster? Since 2018. 2018. So uh, why did you decide to come to NACA this year? Oh, um, I heard so many big things about it, and they said that you should come, network, um, meet the vendors, meet new adjusters so that you can stay active in the industry. So how did you hear about NACA? 
Um, actually, I'm a member. I went to the website. I'm a voting member at that. And um, it was going to give me a discount on the conference, so that made it a plus. I just left a flood training, and it is showing us how they are going to combine the property with flood. So if you are like a property adjuster, the um, commercial, I mean, the regular carriers are going to be writing flood policies, so you will be able to be the adjuster to adjust the flood claim and the wind claim, and it should be a big payday. Wait a minute, we'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> so besides interviewing with uh, firms, um, what are the other benefits of being at this convention? Meeting the other adjusters from the different areas. We could exchange um, telephone numbers, stay in contact, and the app that the um, NACA has put together for the conference is awesome. The prizes, the drawings, I mean, one of the booths gave me a Chick-fil-A card just for stopping by. So you're saying free stuff? Free stuff. Free All right. stuff. So how, how important is networking to people in this business? I don't see how you can survive without it. Hey, we're here with... Nicole Saunders of Columbia, Maryland, and Anisha Wallace of Sacramento, California. They look like twins. We are. We're identical twins. The survey says. I think bringing, the, bringing a conference like this with so many IA firms, opportunities for those of us who are brand new to introduce ourselves to the... Um, to these other IA firms and, and really just get our information out there so they know we're here and and hopefully there that there will be opportunities for us. Well, and also too, exploring other areas of adjusting. You know, I didn't realize the commercial was blossoming. Um, flood is an absolute consideration. Um, we're not just limited to cat storms and, you know, the dailies, you know, inside or fields, but there's, there's a lot more out there. Besides interviewing with firms, uh, what are the some of the, some of the benefits of being here at NACA? I'm meeting you, James. Absolutely. Can't argue with that. I just I really can't. I'll follow what you said. Is just learning about different areas of adjusting that there that some of these firms are doing things other than standard property um, or auto. I think what did I learn? Pet travel mm. adjusting. So it's it's actually pretty been pretty interesting to find that out. How important is networking for people here at NACA? Oh my gosh, it is absolutely vital. You don't know what you don't know without coming to a place like this and really discovering what's available. You know, um, people, um, IA firms coming to your area where you live and finding out maybe they're expanding. Um, it's huge. It, it's really huge. She would play the wizard. Oh. All right. <laughs> What character would I play? That's what you were thinking, right? Yeah. Twin, yeah. Like twin like tuition. Yeah. What? What? Ten men. Ten men. I was expecting flying monkey.